In this video, we're going to look at an exercise we did with the 727, but it applies to any aircraft we use. How far does the center of gravity move when you add or remove a weight? In this video, we're going to look at removing a weight and seeing how that affects your center of gravity. The calculation we use, the distance the center of gravity moves is equal to the weight change, so plus or minus, if you're adding weight, it's a positive number, if you're removing it, it's a negative. Multiply that by the arm of the weight minus the current center of gravity. Calculate that and divide it by the current weight of the aircraft plus or minus the weight change. So if you're adding weight, you add it. If you're taking weight off, you remove it. So you subtract. This example will look at removing weight. We did this one in class. Current weight of the aircraft is 10,000 pounds and its current center of gravity is 250 inches. Again, I just made these numbers up for math. They're not necessarily based on any specific aircraft. If you then remove an 800 pound box, and that box has an arm of 300 inches, what happens to the center of gravity? Well, the distance it moves, minus 800 is the weight change, we're removing 800 pounds, multiplied by the arm of the weight was 300 inches, minus the current center of gravity is 250 inches. So that comes 50 times minus 800, gives you minus 40,000. On the bottom, we take the current weight of 10,000 pounds, and we're removing weight, so we subtract the 800 pounds we're removing, so that becomes 9,200. When you divide that, you get minus 4.3 inches. That's the distance that it moves. To find the new center of gravity, you take the existing center of gravity of 250 inches, we calculate the minus 4.3 inches, so we subtract 4.3 inches from that, giving us a new center of gravity of 245.7 inches. In another video, we'll look at what happens when you add weight.